Hello, everyone. Suana Struck here to uh, continue the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And um, today is lesson 63. So today's lesson is the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. And the peace comes from us letting go of judgment, of attack, and of fear. And it says, how holy you are who have the power to bring peace to every mind. You have the power always to change your mind. And in that, to bring peace to every mind in the oneness that we are. So how blessed are you who can, reckon, who can learn to recognize the means for letting this be done through you? We are blessed with this. It is a gift from God. We have the ability always to change our mind. So it says, what purpose, what other purpose could you have that would bring you greater happiness? Forgiveness, as the Course says, is the key to happiness. It says you are indeed the light of the world with such a function. The previous lesson, it says forgiveness is the function as the light of the world. It, it is for us to lift the veil in forgiveness as we forgive. To be present to, I am the light of the world. The son of God looks to you for redemption. The son of God is everyone. And, you know, as we forgive, as we move out of our ego, out of our egoic thought system, out of our split mind, that right and wrong mind, good and bad, wrong, good or bad mind, you know, where we're making somebody else um, wrong and that we're right or we see others as good or bad all that dualistic thinking that is what we're letting go of because you i and everyone are made in the image and likeness of god you i and everyone else are the light of god and we are the light in this world and as we forgive we open up to that so it is, it is yours to give him, him, the son of God, our brothers, our sisters, for it belongs to you. Accept no trivial purpose or meaningless desire in its place, or you will forget your function and leave the son of God in hell. No trivial purpose, like how we are so attached to the idols of the world and how distracting that is for recognizing, you know, the love, the peace, and the joy that's available to each one of us and to see the, the limitlessness of each one of us. That God has, you know, with God, all things are possible. So this is no idle request that's being asked of you. It's not idle at all. You are being asked to accept salvation, that it may be yours to give. It is by saving yourself that you will save the world. You know, we think we need to go out there and save the world. It doesn't mean that we don't be of service to the world. What this is bringing to us in the course is to be able to to do our own self re reflection our own self uh, inquiry our own self discovery you know when we to see when we are caught up in our egoic thought system and are not at that peace within our own self the course again is helping us to to find the peace you know, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. So recognizing the importance of this function, we will be happy to remember it very often today. So again, 
you know, it's bringing us to the awareness and the consciousness of how important this is. So as I awake to, as we awake to this importance, we will apply these principles more and more in our lives. So it said, we will begin the day by acknowledging it. You know, start on the right foot in the morning in, and you know, practicing the course to the best of our ability. The course says, don't be ritualistic about it. Although how can, you know, or what is it for yourself that you wake up to every day? How do you wake up in the morning? And as you wake up, what are, who are you being about creating the day ahead? Do you see it as drudgery? Or can you wake up in the morning with, I am the light of the world. The world, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness and standing in that for the day. And it says to close the day with the thought of it in our awareness. So it is to check in at the end of the day, to take a look at your day, not to dwell in it, but to take a look at, was there an opportunity to be able to forgive? To forgive, you know, yourself. We think it's about forgiving the other out there, but the other out there is only showing us, reflecting back what it is that we need to forgive within ourselves. And you'll see as you study the course more and more that what is out there that is causing me or you, or us to be triggered is, 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 a, is actually the situation or the individual is actually our savior because again, it's showing us that part of ourselves that needs to be healed. And it says throughout the day, we'll repeat this as often as we can. You know, when we forget, we, re, you know, we remember. So it's to check, you know, check in or to be open enough to remember. You know, start off the day that you want to remember when you forget. So the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. This is what we want to remember. I am the means God has appointed. God has appointed for the salvation of the world. This is what we've been appointed for. Although, you know, we believe that we are separated from God. And it's to recognize when that belief is showing up, how deep it is how deep it is in our subconscious that we believe that. If you close your eyes, you'll probably find it easier to let the related thoughts come to you in the minute, minute or two that you should devote to considering this. It's to take a pause in the moment when we find ourselves out of our peace. Do not, however, wait for such an opportunity. So no chance, no chance should be lost for reinforcing this, you know, this idea today. That's how important it is. Remember that God's son looks to you for salvation. And who but yourself must be his son. We're looking for our own salvation here. And as, as I said earlier, as I say myself, I am contributing to the salvation of others and to the world. So again, practice um, every opportunity today, as it says, you know, to see the connection between forgiveness, which is our function, and the salvation of the world. You know, again, forgiveness is the means that God has appointed, it says here, for the salvation of the world. The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world. All right, go forward today and you know, be willing, open your heart and open your mind to be that space of forgiveness um, as you go forward. All right. Thank you as always for being here. And I look forward to uh, being with you for lesson 64 in the next video. And again, please, um, well, first of all, I want to say thank you to those who have already subscribed to this channel, for those of you who have liked, shared, and commented, and continue to do so. Um, again, the way this um, YouTube 
operates and the way this technology is. Um, all of that um, affects the algorithms and gets this out to those who are looking for uh, the Course of Miracles and looking for support in, in living and practicing the Course of Miracles in their life. All right. God bless. Have a, a wonderful day. And I look forward to being with you in the next video. Bye for now.